he says back up here to the snow salt table, we have the interior top, the carcass or the outsides of the box, we have the top, we have the bottom, We have the key, and we have the two riser blocks. So you should have seven pieces total to complete your box. I'm going to remove my blade here so I have more room to work with. Okay, I'm going to get a scrap piece of wood that I use a lot. Get this old piece of nasty plywood and put it on top of my scroll saw table. Have my seven pieces. Okay, we're going to need some glue. So I'll grab my wood glue here and show you my favorite kind. I don't know if you can get it good to see that good. It's Eileen's clear gel tacky glue most hobby stores will carry this walmart even carries it it's roughly dollar fifty for this bottle very good investment the reason i like this is the only glue that i've ever found that dries completely clear even the eileen white glue does not dry as clear as the clear so i use this on most projects now it's the Eileen's Clear Tacky Glue. Next thing I'll need to get a, a glue spreader. Okay, here's my glue spreader, which is a simple toothpick. And I will need some clamps. Now I like using these four inch bar clamps. You can use uh, spring clamps, uh, Jorgensen clamps, just whatever you have around, but I prefer these. And for this, for this size box, I'm going to need three of them, three clamps. And the last thing I'm going to use is just a little piece of scrap wood to put my glue on. I'm going to dab out my glue. Okay, I have my bottom and my top ready to glue. Let's slide these out of the way. So I'm going to take my carcass, get my glue spreader, my trusty tool toothpick, and align the bottom of this carcass with the glue. Okay, one part you need to be careful about is do not put too much glue around this key slot. The reason is once you squeeze with the clamps the top on to the bottom or the case onto the bottom, you don't want any glue to squeeze out to come outside of here, preventing the key to slide all the way down from the hard hardened glue that's in the way. So I'm just going to Put very small amounts around this area. Make sure every part has a little bit of glue. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to take the bottom. Push it to the top. Okay, that's fine. For the time being right now, it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. Because we're going to take it, move it on its side. The riser blocks that you cut off, the two riser blocks, we need to get these aligned up in a proper position now. So going, whoops, excuse me. Because I used a piece of pine on this prototype, the rings are easily seen. So I'm just going to line up the rings and glue in these two riser blocks. So I'm going to use my glue spreader again, put a liberal amount of glue on the inside. Take my riser block. Put it into place. Same thing for this side. Put my glue in. Take my riser block, set it into place, push it back. Okay, my carcass is in shape. My riser blocks on the inside. So during the glue process, I'm just going to go ahead and set this in here. Slide the top on. Take my bar clamps. This is where you'll need to make sure that your bottom lines up with your top correctly. So properly line up as you're putting the clamps on. Okay, go on. Let this dry for a while. Then I'm going to come back and do some little bit of detail sanding. I'm going to, if this isn't perfectly matched up, it's fine. I'm going to sand it down to where it's smooth. Go round over the edges of sandpaper. So I'm going to let this dry about 30, 45 minutes, and I'll come back with you. Okay, it's been about 30, 45 minutes since I glued this up, so I'm going to release the clamps. Slide all this out of the way. Okay, you'll notice I have a, you'll notice I still have a few marks on here, glue marks and pencil marks. I just have a sheet of sandpaper on my table. Just sand it off. Okay, you might need to do a little bit more sanding. I still have a slight pencil mark down here on the side. But you get the under, you get the you know, idea of how, how I'm doing that. But sand the sides. Sand this side. Then take your sandpaper and sand over the corners, make them smooth. Then you have your finished box. I usually put a Danish oil finish on the box, give it a nice clean look.